Hello everyone, welcome to my third video of the Yao Tips and Tricks series, and this this video will be aimed at last four centers and an Im important tool that I think every Yao solver should have, which is slice moves. So let's get started. So I finished cross edges here, and so the main point of this video is about slice moves. And they can easily be performed with your ring finger and just doing that. I, I use my left hand and I think it's better than using your right hand to do slice moves. You will need to slice either one layer or two layers and that will help you reduce a lot of face switches. So let me just do an example. Okay, so right away. So I see these four and this, I know I can pair it up like that. And after pairing it up, I want it onto the top face. So I can easily switch, move this corner around to pair it up with any edge center I get or I see. So I can do that. You can do that, but that's slower than doing that with a slice move. And then here you can do, instead of doing that and then that, um, instead you can just slice these two layers and then slice down with, and then realign this bar onto the left side. So from here, I have these three and it's pretty simple and then r2 the insert now from here well okay so you have these three and this corner and this t so i like to i think the best option here would be to pair up and make a bar with this corner and one of these two pieces or three pieces um, way you can do that instead of face switching doing that you can do use slice move like this and undo with two moves then pair that up and then finish that and finally you can do this and finish off the T and then finally finish off your centers now from that example, uh, you can probably see I've used a lot of slice moves there, and that's exactly why they are important to know as a Yao solver, as it reduces a lot of face switching, which is basically to, uh, switching the center on top to make it the U face so you can turn it. So anyways, that's the tip for today, and thanks for watching.